Hi, I'm Melissa Behrens. Uh, this is my reading autobiography. Um, my reading journey started probably, the first memory I have is my parents reading me to bed at night. Um, my dad also kind of did impromptu stories where he would make stuff up and kind of take me on a journey like that. Um, as older years went by, I when I was in kindergarten, I remember distinctively that reading did not come easy for me. I remember reading, well, trying to read a Sesame Story book, and I was getting very frustrated. And I remember taking the book and throwing it across the room multiple times before I thought the words should just jump off the page, and they were not. Um, I struggled with reading probably in my first elementary years. I would say it was not easy. It didn't come easy at all for me, actually. Um, in first grade, I remember when I was in a reading group in my classroom, the teacher separated you into two groups. It was like group A, group B. Um, the students know what group they're in. Um, so if teachers think they don't, they do. Um, I was in the lower group and I remember thinking this isn't fun. I want to be in the high group. Um, still though, reading didn't come easy for me. My parents were both avid readers. They liked to read the newspaper. They liked to read novels. They liked to read various different types of literature. So growing up, I really had to try and really put forth effort in reading. I honestly didn't find joy in reading till probably about fourth, fifth grade when I found the Goosebumps series or Babysitter Club. Um, I really have always liked series. I feel like once you find a series and you kind of fall in love with characters, in my opinion, I feel like that's when you decide like, oh my gosh, I really want to know what happens in this story. Um, in those first early years when I would read, I remember comprehension didn't always um, collide and didn't go together. Like I would read something and I felt like I don't even know what I just read. So I'd read it again and the same thing would happen. And I feel like when you are learning how to read, if you aren't interested in the subject or need to know something when you're young, I don't feel like it's really relevant, so the kids don't really feel like it needs to stick. So I always said, I'm going to read a short part, think about it, and then read it again. So I kind of trained myself on how to read and how to compre comprehend and learn from those skills. Uh, the older I got, though, reading became a lot more fun. Um, the older years, I would say a series I really fell in love with was Harry Potter. I was probably not its target market, but I was in high school at the time and I just fell in love with the books. I remember reading them quick, reading them for hours at a time, trying to get in all the pages I possibly could because still I couldn't keep my eyes open. And I remember thinking, this is so fun and you kind of put yourself in the book or you want to be a part of the story. And when it's over, I feel like when you really fall in love with a series, you're kind of sad. Like Whenever I get done with a book or a series, I remember thinking, oh, I wonder what happened to so-and-so because you want to know more or you want to be a part of that. So I always kind of have, I always call it a book loss. I call it morning loss because those characters are kind of gone in a sense for me. Like they're at a standstill in my brain. So I feel like when I end a book, I'm kind of sad, which is maybe kind of dorky. I don't know, but that's just how I feel about reading. Uh, after reading, like, The Love of Joy and The Reading Joy, like, what you feel, students, if they get to pick maybe the genre or the style or something with the books, I feel like they would have more of a sense of dedication to wanting to read it and understand and maybe putting forth the effort in the topics. So letting kids or students decide what they read at a pace that that's comfortable for them is probably most beneficial. But for me, reading, I, I'm an avid reader for now, for sure. I keep saying when I'm done with my master's, I'm going to read for fun again. Right now I'm reading to learn, not reading for fun. So there is a difference to me. Um, I look forward to listening to all of yours. Um, I hope you enjoyed listening to mine. Uh, have fun during this class. Thanks, guys.